Kerry McCarthy. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I've looked at the section in the report on children's mental health, and it's OK as far as it goes, but we know that CAMS is in absolute crisis. We saw figures released yesterday that showed that more children than ever are presented with mental health problems, and many of them won't get the help that they need. And we know that children in care can carry with them a trauma that will last throughout their whole lives if they're not helped. So can I ask the Minister how is he going to work with his colleagues in the Department of Health to make sure that there's not that silo and it's not just looking at the aspects of mental health for which he might bear responsibility, but there's, there's genuine, I'm trying to avoid the phrase, joined up working, but that's what we need. Well, Madam Deputy, the Honourable Lady is uh, absolutely right, and if there's an area that we need less silo working, it's on children's mental health, and I, of course, have a broader remit, not just around the Department of Education, but around children more generally, and of course it concerns me. And I can only do so much, Madam Deputy Speaker, around mental health support teams in schools and senior mental health leads, and we're making significant investments there. But of course I meet regularly with my counterpart at the Department for Health and Social Care. Yes, they're making that investment. There's the £2.3 billion pounds, um, invested into... Uh, uh, um, mental health support. But in truth, uh, the, the, too many young children and young people are waiting too long for CAM services, and we know that it is a driver for children's social care. So, of course, I'll continue having those conversations with my counterparts. Make sure. Priority.